I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey guys, welcome back to my channel So today's video is gonna be a eye look A eye look? I don't know It's gonna be an eye look using the Epic palette And it is the Epic Day palette from Makeup Revolution So I'm super excited Here it is I did do a swatch video I have no idea if I've even edited and put that up yet But y'all it should be up before this because I try and edit in order. I'm going to see how it is and let you guys know what I think about like the pigmentation and how it applies to the eyes and things like that. So if you want to see what I think about it and how it works out, then please keep on watching this video. And also don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And go ahead and follow me on Instagram at Ninja Fairy Official because that would be freaking bomb. Okay. I'm not going long eyed. I feel like I'm going like long eyed. Anyway, let's get into this video. Bye. I don't know why I'm saying bye because I'm going to be talking to you through this, but yeah. Okay, so I'm going to start off by using this shade all over the entire lid. I'm just going to do it with a fluffy brush. I'm going to use the Morphe MB23 and I'm just going to pop that all over my lid up to my brow bone. So the next shade I'm going to go ahead with is this like top brownie grey colour and I'm going to place that a little bit lower down in the crease area and I'm going to use the same fluffy brush because it doesn't need to be precise or anything like that just adds a little bit more depth and allows the next shade to sort of like transition down I'm going to do the same on the lower lash line as well so on the top and the bottom um, I might as well do them at the same time and this look is just going to be super quick super simple and like anybody can do it like seriously oh god I'm going blind anybody can do it okay so the next color i'm going to go ahead and use is the one next to that previous color that we just used and it's just a darker still on the top kind of side but it's just a little bit darker and more brown okay and this time i'm going to be using the morphe m433 and this is my favorite favorite brush ever i absolutely love it so i'm going to be taking that color and placing that right in the crease look at that pigmentation on there what the hell? Makeup Revolution is stepping it up, guys. Seriously. So, right in the crease. Let's see how these blend out and how it transfers to the eyes. That is looking promising. So, let's get going and get blending. That has gone on so nice. I'm just looking close up to see if it's patchy or anything. And it is not patchy, there is no patchiness there whatsoever. So I'm going to use the same brush and do that on the lower lash line as well, but keep it quite close into that lash line. Like, don't bring it too far out. Just to add a little bit of smokiness. And we're just going to do a really nice, subtle daytime look since it is the daytime palette. And I just thought that would obviously go really nice. Um, so I'm going to do the same on the other eye. And you basically just want to use window wipe motions and then circular motions as well. Don't apply too much pressure because then you're going to be like dragging and moving the product off your eyelid. You just want to be back and forth nice and gently and just blend the shadow out. I'm just going to come back in with the first brush that I use with no additional product. Blend those edges out slightly. And my hair is crazy as fuck, I know. Just don't need to look at it guys. It is so dry and so bad. Like, I don't even know what to do with it. I have no idea. So next I'm gonna come in with this shade here. I was just checking if they had shade names, but they don't. But I'm coming in with the darkest shade in the palette and I'm gonna pop that, I think, just on like my outer V area and in the crease. And the brush I'm using is from The Body Shop and it is the N93E brush. And it's just a really small tapered blending brush. At least I think it is. I don't actually know. Again, the pigmentation is there. Let's see if we can get it on the eyes as well. So, this one is like a shimmery brown, so it's not a matte shadow. It's got some shimmer. So, let's see how it goes onto the eye. Not really that great so far. Hmm. I mean, it's not doing too bad, but it doesn't seem to be blending out just like here. You can probably see that, and there is a lot of fallout. Um, but we'll see how it finishes up in a little minute. Same on the lower lash line. I'm just taking the same brush. I'm dusting off the product on my hand 
and then I'm dipping it back into the lightest colour that I use and just doing that just to get rid of the darkness that was on there, like the dark product and then I'm just blending out the edges because I hate it when there's like hard lines I cannot stand it but sometimes certain shadows can be difficult to blend I think that's as good as I'm going to get it I think, I mean it's not bad the pigmentation definitely wasn't as good as the other ones but it still has darkened it up like you can tell the difference between the two eyes like this one's slightly darker on the outer um, V of the eye and in the crease so there's definitely a difference it's just not as pigmented as it looks in here and swatched as well like it's quite dark but it just doesn't come off as dark on the eye there is literally fallout everywhere all on my nose but if you just have a fluffy brush handy you can easily wipe that away as long as you do it really lightly it shouldn't be an issue so next I'm going to come in with this sort of like metallic pinky shade it's really light and I'm going to place that on the lid and the brush I'm using is the N93E it's just a flat brush from the body shop flat brushes work I find work so much better to pack on colours especially on the lid I'm hoping that there's going to be some pigment there I'm hoping so bad because it looks so beautiful maybe it's not as light as it looked it looks it looks quite light in the palette I mean there's definitely some pigment there but it's just not as shimmery or as like metallic -y as it looks in the palette let me see if I do it with my finger no that didn't change anything that did not change a thing okay I'm properly swirling it in as well guys I'm not just like getting a tiny bit I'm really like trying to get a lot of product on there and then I'm going in and putting it on the eye as well as like rubbing it because sometimes rubbing can make the metallicness come through and it has gone on just not as much as I would have liked and that's just me probably being a pain in the ass but okay so next I'm going to be using um, this highlighter and um, so I'm going to place that on my inner corner I'm going to use the same flat brush that I just used so I'm going to place that on the inner corner just because I want to be super highlighted. So that's really nice. As you can see, that gave it a really nice highlight. I really like that one as well. I'm going to try the peach one over the top of that. The one that's above it. Okay, back to the lilac coloured one. Because that is giving me life, okay? It's giving me life. I actually love that, that is like so cute. So I'm going to highlight my cheeks and everywhere else on my face. I'm using the N93E brush from the Body Shop and it's just a really thick, tapered highlighting brush I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be using that same highlighter here. Just to, Jesus Christ, look how much I've got on there. Damn, don't think we need that much. Or do we? Okay, okay so let's highlight to the gods. My eyes are not finished yet, but I just want this highlighter on my face, so let's do it. My leg, no. That is super pretty. And then I'm also going to do a little bit on my brow bone as well, so that everything is glowing. Okay, so that is this palette finished with. I'm going to go ahead and apply some winged liner and some lashes. And I will be straight back with you guys, okay? I will be straight freaking back. Okay, guys, so I decided not to go ahead and apply lashes. I just applied winged liner and mascara. And then on my lips, I have Fraye Tarte's Lip Paint from Tarte, which I absolutely am loving. Literally love it so much. So my final thoughts on the Epic Day palette from Makeup Revolution is that I really, really do like it. This highlighter is freaking amazing and the matte shadows I absolutely love as well. Um, where have I put the freaking palette? I'm trying to look for it. So those are the two highlighters in there and I really love like the matte shades. It's definitely worth it even like if you just want those even if you're only going to use like those highlights out of it for the price it's worth it those 
four matte shades here for the eyeshadows. Absolutely love the matte shades. They came off super pigmented. The shimmery sh metallic shades, I did like them. I just felt they took quite a bit of work, which is obviously going to be the way it is when you're paying such a low price. And I just do still think it is worth it for that price, but just for those of you that wondered, you just have to work that little bit harder to get the pigmentation there. They look super pigmented on the finger, but when you're trying to plan to your eyes with a brush, it just doesn't come through. It does eventually, but not like as you would expect it to. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I will leave any links, well, the link for this palette in the description box down below. Please don't forget to follow me on all of my social media, which will also be in the description box down below. And I hope you really enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Bye. And guys, please always remember that you are bomb.com, lit as fuck, and don't ever let anybody tell you any different. You've got this. I love you. Mwah. Bye. I'm always doing the most. Finish my cup and